Are real estate prices going to continue to go up? Hey everyone, it's Nick McLean, owner of the Nick McLean Real Estate Group, and this is the Wenatchee Valley Real Estate Market Update for August 2021. And you know, a lot of us are experiencing a little bit of leveling off in the real estate market. And I'm about to share with you why that might be taking place and what to expect in the future. Because in 2022, how would it feel to lose $48,000? Imagine losing $48,000 in 2022. Will that happen? So for last month, we look at total sales and the total sales numbers tells us how many people are, are actually making it to the closing table because it's one thing to want a house. It's another thing to close. We tell our clients all the time, congratulations, you found a buyer. Now the work begins because we got to get it to the closing table. Show me the money, right? So last month we had 103 sales in the Wenatchee Valley. That's down 14% from last year. So sales are down 14%. What does it mean? What does it mean? Well, it could be because listings are down. You know, listings, low inventory. Everyone's hearing about the low inventory. Well, the inventory is down 44% compared to last year, but we were in a pandemic last year. Inventory is actually up 67% from last month. So sales are down, inventory is up. Mm, not a good sign. Supply and demand, right? Supply and demand. If supply is rising and closings are going down, that's the opposite of what we want to see for increasing, increasing prices on the long term. But we're going to show you that the average sales price has gone up 19% from last year. That's a huge increase, $479,000. But is this the end of the appreciation? I mean, when I see inventory going up and sales going down, what you should expect in the next 90 to 100 days is a leveling off of prices and even, even a depreciating prices. So if prices adjust 10% in 2022, everybody, if prices adjust 10% in 2022, it's quite possible, not a huge adjustment, ju adjustment, right? If they gone, went up 20, what's stopping them from going down 10? That's $48,000 outside of your pocketbook, right outside your savings account, gone, $48,000. So what could you do with that? So you might consider selling your home. And I'm not just saying that loosely um, because I'm real estate. I think you should consider it because, you know, the marketplace is unknown. No one can predict the future, but I'm seeing some trends right now. So if you want to know what your home's worth, reach out to our team. We have a hotline where you can talk to a real human being. That's 509-255-8070. Or you can go to nickmcclainrealestate.com. You can click a button for a home eval and get a hold of us. Again, Talk to a real human being. There's no obligation to list. We get free, free home values. We'll even do a drive-by value if you don't want to send your house yet because it's a little cluttery. So 509-255-8070. So uh, that's the market update. Again, sales are down 14%. Inventory is up 67%. Average sales price is up 19% to 479%. But you got to remember the average sales price. That's a 12-month look back. So we're counting all those amazing months, but I'm seeing a change right now. I'm seeing a change. So, you know, I don't want you to lose $48,000 next year. So give us a call 509-255-8070. Talk to you.